the pink side or the black side? Pink side. Oh, you wear the pink side more. Oh, yeah. oh my husband is a feminine boy. <laughs> Who are you? I'm just secure in my masculinity. Oh shit, my desk. <laughs> A big shout out to Julieta Ends. This video is dedicated to her. Thank you, girl, for giving me the suggestion to make this durag video for the male population. The first thing you need to do is to fold your fabric into two like this. You need a length of about, of about 30 inches. You can make it 35 inches if you want the straps to be longer, but I did exactly 30 inches. Now, the breadth of what I want or the width that I want is my husband's head circumference divided into two and then i added one inch allowance to it so the head circumference that i used for this is 22 inches i divided it into two and that made it 11 inches and i added one inch seam allowance and that made it 12 inches so i'm just marking 12 inches as the length or sorry as the breadth of this um durag and th that's what exactly the kind of measurements that you use when you want to make your own so i'm cutting out my fabric now and the totality of it is 60 inches by 12 inches and the 60 inches is on fold and that made it 30 inches by 12 inches because when you fold 60 you have 30. so now the other side the reversible side of it is the black fabric and i just did exactly the same thing to the black fabric so the black fabric is also 12 inches in width and 60 inches in length and i lay them on top of each other like so because whatever i do to the black also affects the pink part so the first thing that i need you to do is from the bottom of your uh of your rectangle you measure 3.5 inches because the width of the of the uh, straps that i'm going to use is about two and a half inches so i measure 3.5 so that if i take 0 0.5 inches seam allowance up and bottom i will have 2.5 inches left so i'm measuring 3.5 inches all the way down till i get to eight inches from my fold so from my fold i just measured eight inches like that and i just continue measuring my 3.5 inches so do you understand that from my fold i measured eight inches and that's the mark that i put right there where my 3.5 inches stopped now from the upper part of my fold i'm going to measure 20 inches that's going to be the back of the durag the part that is covering the back of the head and then from that place i measured seven or six inches down it depends on how wide you want that back to be but i think i measured six and then i just drew a curve to meet the eight inches that i drew before just keep looking at what i i'm doing i don't know if i'm explaining it correctly but look at what i'm doing so at the fold of the fabric i measured four inches from the fold and downwards i also measured four inches and then i'm just going to draw a curve to join my two four inches together i'm ju i just use four inches so that it'll be easy to explain that curvy part at the top of my durag and you can also curve the back you can make it all the curves as you know curvy as you want it to be depending on your preference and you can also leave it four corner like this the way i left the back to reiterate the measurements the width that you need for your rectangle is the circumference of your head divided by two and then the band is 3.5 inches and the length from there to there is six inches and then i join all the curves the way i did it so if you've been following me so far i'm sure you understand what i did so i just i'm just cutting out all my curves and all my chalkings or my markings and then I'm just going to cut it and you see what it looks like after I cut it. So this is what it looks like after it's cut. You can see the durag shape, right? So I'm just going to trim out the black back because the black looks longer than the pink. So I have finished cutting it out now. It looks like a durag, doesn't it? And now I'm just going to take it to the sewing machine and sew it and I will be right back. So I have sewn the top of it. I sewed it and I also zigzag stitched it because it's a satin and you know the way satin frays. So I sewed the top and I zigzag stitched it. You can also sew this place down if you also want but I didn't bother because it's already on fold and I didn't think I needed to sew it even some more so this is what it looks like after i sew the top and now i'm going to place them right side to right side 
the right side of the pink to the right side of the black and then i'm going to leave this tiny space while i'm sewing round about it because i want to use that space to turn it inside out so you're just going to sew all the way down sew everything sewable sew them all together that, that part is pretty self-explanatory and i'm going to show you what it looks like after i finish sewing it okay so now i have sewn it and this is what it looks like i sewed all the parts together and the black is on the pink and the pink is on the black so at this junction you are going to just snip that side you're going to snip the other side as well because if you don't snip it it would not be a clean it won't be clean when you turn it inside out so just snip around it you can even snip around the entire uh seam allowance if you like just so it will have a nice lay when you iron it so i just snip there and i snip there and i left this uh, opening to turn it inside out so after do turning it inside out the next thing is this tiny space that i used to turn it i'm going to stitch right on it or you can just gum it together or you can use needle and thread to stitch it together and that's it your durag is ready and now let me go wear it for my darling husband yay <laughs> which kind of smile is that one you didn't tell me which kind of smile i should do okay is this just a demo shot what's demo shot you're showing how what it looks like on a human head yes i'm showing what it looks like on a big woman head like if the head is big like oh my, <laughs> like wait wow yeah baby oh yeah smile smile well <laughs> okay 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 so turn okay so this is what it looks like so which side do you wear more the pink side or the black side the pink side Oh, you wear the pink side more. Oh, yeah. oh my husband is a feminine boy. <laughs> Screw you, I'm just secure in my masculinity. Oh shit, my this. <laughs> yeah. I don't need anyone to tell me whether I'm a man or a woman. Oh yeah, okay. I wear what I like. Okay, we have a You know how to Damn straight. <laughs> Thank you for being my... What are you? My experiments? Yep, patient zero. Thank you for being my patient zero. <laughs> Bye. Wait, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>